Hi, I'm Ian Graham from Small Dog Studio and MacDude.ca and I've been playing at the uh, Church of St. Columba in Waterloo for probably about 18 years now and for quite some time was uh, using a Clavinova and a couple of uh, sound modules and after a while it just started sounding you know pretty cheesy. Well as technology started getting better and I started hearing about different instruments on the computer and the samples, uh, it was like, it was obvious I had to switch to uh, a better sounding system. So basically I'm going to show you how I made the choice of using uh, main stage and Motu symphonic instrument uh, as my pipe organ uh, for the church. So uh, I'm going to give you a little rundown here. Um, I've assigned presets to the keys on the lower half and actually on the upper half of the keyboard. So I'll give you an idea. C sharp is just your basic piano. If I want piano and choir, I hit C for choir, or C sharp and C for piano and choir. You know, very religious sounding. But this is the thing that I love about uh, Motu Symphonic Instrument is the fact that they have some just fabulous pipe organ sounds. Uh, I studied pipe organ at a uh, university level. I've actually got a, a grade 10 in pipe organ uh, besides a grade 9 in piano. Uh, but, uh, and so, you know, I've had a chance to play some really nice different pipe organs. Uh, but I have to say the Motu Symphonic Instrument just blew me away with how good some of these pipe organs are. So on the A sharp, I'm going to give you an example of one of the pipe organs. richer, fuller sounding pipe organ. So really nice sounds overall. But this is the thing that I loved about having with the Motu Symphonic Instrument is that I can take these pipe organs and now incorporate them with piano and choir. So for example, I'll give you a little example here. possibilities that way. Um, I've also incorporated horns. Uh, I've also incorporated a uh, classical guitar on here. And if I want to again put uh, piano horn, actually let's do piano, horn, choir, and classical guitar, we can do it. So again, some nice possibilities that way. Uh, strings was another one actually that I also put on here. Now, here's something else. Using main stage, I'm now starting to incorporate some of the more modern sounds, such as uh, the synth pads. And I'll give you an example here. Uh, this is a synth pad called Blue Carpet. And I'm just going to play this with some piano. And I, I really like the, the soundscape that this kind of gives. And, and especially if you're playing, uh, say, during communion, you want something a little more subtle. Uh, maybe there's nobody singing, but you just want to create a really nice envelope of sound. This really works well. warm sounds that way. Um, I've also incorporated here is another string ensemble um, and this one basically um, besides the string ensemble I also have uh, some glockenspiel uh, here. I'll just uh, show you on the glockenspiel on that side there as well. So here's the piano and string ensemble with a bit of uh, glockenspiel.
little bit more of a string quartet sort of a sound to this. And if I want to, I can also put in, again, maybe a, a softer pipe organ, piano, uh, and um, strings and incorporate that with this string ensemble. some possibilities are they're really nice that way um, now a couple other things to show you uh, the minister at our church has some interesting sermons uh, it's not one of those uh, you know fall asleep uh, type of sermons there's actually a lot of interesting things that uh, you know where we kind of uh, get I guess made aware of and uh, the one thing I love about with the iMac and um, with the iLife suite is the fact that you know you get of course GarageBand and give you a little rundown here um, we actually use GarageBand to record the minister's sermons which then are uploaded uh, well they're saved and then into iWeb and then uploaded to the website and the nice thing about this is being you know of course we're uh, in Canada uh, during the winter time we do have some members of the congregation who go south to Florida or to Mexico and this is a nice way for them to kind of keep in touch with the church and still hear the minister's sermons because uh, they can just go onto the website <clears throat> but basically we've got a podcast track and you know you put a nice sort of picture in there uh, we got the, uh, the the male voice uh, sort of a preset that we've used and it's just basically the minister uh, talking and then of course jingles uh, in this case I put in metal uh, ceremony short and it's just in you know, a little musical introduction uh, for the minister's sermons and of course that's then uploaded to the website and I'll show you that here uh, here's the uh, Welcome to the Church of St. Columba uh, website and of course you know we can then go to the podcast and in the podcast uh, we have a whole bunch of listing of uh, different podcasts and anyone can go back into the archives and we've done quite a, uh, I think about uh, at least two and a half, three years worth of podcasts so there's quite a bit of uh, stuff up there for people to check out. Um, the other thing too is um, this is my music so to speak that I've got on, uh, and I've scanned most of the the hymn book into the uh, the um, the iMac, and as well, I've also got you know some of the music for the service, such as this Kyrie. And the nice thing, you know, I just basically show up, I find out what hymns we're playing, and just pop them into a preview, and then by chance I need to make a you know an order change, and you know the Kyrie is supposed to come in third here, I can just change it, no problems that way. Uh, but um, in a lot of cases, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's just great because uh, I'm not really having to turn pages. If you have a long piece, I can make it set up in such a way that I can hit an arrow button and just go on to the next uh, the page that way. And also, if we have any sort of uh, Christmas services, Christmas Eve, you know, midnight mass type of service, uh, when the lights are kind of go down and everyone's got their candles, I can still see my music really well and not have to worry about having a light and perhaps have the bulb go out on it or anything like this. But uh, this is just, uh, it's a wonderful way to kind of do a service. Um, the instrumentation now that we've got with Motu Symphonic and Main Stage, this makes, you know, a lot more enjoyable, I think, uh, because you've got so many different possibilities. And uh, anyways, give you an example here of some of the music. Thanks very much. I'm Ian Graham from Small Dog Studio and MacDude.ca and stick around. We're going to have some more main stage demos for you.